All right, guys. I'm gonna be doing a quick get ready with me. And I first started off with this face mask. I don't know if you guys ever tried these. So far, I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of making my eyes burn. But I've had that on. And then it's about time to take it off. It says 20 or 30 minutes, but. All right, and then I only use like a couple of items. So I go with my foundation, then I use my bronzer. I don't really contour unless I have to or unless I'm going out, but it's just like something to give my cheeks some color. Then I'm going in with my little bit of blush. And then a little bit of highlight. And then what I'm gonna do is Fill them in. Then I'll go on with my mascara. And then some lipstick. This is the Wet n Wild Skinny Dipping. That's it. I don't usually do lip liner unless I'm doing like a full glam look which I'm not. This is just my quick, literally two minute routine every day. Super simple. Just 
just a little easy glam look. Pretty much all my stuff is Arbonne, which is all plant-based makeup, and also skincare is Arbonne as well. Um, everything is plant-based, no parabens, um, no, um, it's not tested on animals. Definitely um, good for your skin, and it's not gonna hurt your skin, and it doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it, so it's really good. So I love this stuff. Only thing that I didn't use that wasn't Arbonne was Maybelline Matte Mousse, but pretty much everything else is um, Arbonne, so that's that. My typical routine. And then, oh, one thing I did want to try was my Morphe palette, really quick. I normally don't do eyeshadow uh, if it's just like a quick two minute look, but I do want to try this. I haven't tried this yet, oh my gosh. So you saw in my previous video, uh, one of my first videos that I did, I did a makeup challenge with my friend and we did each other's makeup blindfolded um, and I'll link that video below. But she had a Morphe palette and it was a little bit different than this. This is, um, the colors on this is different. So I'm excited to show you guys. Um, but here are the colors. Pretty cool. And um, what I love about these colors is that they're, I mean, you got a lot of greens and purples, so, and browns and oranges. But the thing about these colors is that they're not like super dramatic, like my friend's Morphe palette. These are more of like a, like a warmer tones uh, type of colors, like almost like going into fall uh, type of colors. So that's what I loved about these. And there's both matte and sparkly shadow in there. So that's what I loved about that. But, oh, I don't even know what color I should choose. Um, I'm just gonna go on with my finger. Let's see. I'm gonna start with this nude here. And then I'm probably gonna use this, a little bit of this one down here. So just, ooh, it's very pigmented. And it goes on very well. That's awesome. Wow. Normally I just use store brand Ulta eyeshadow and it is not as good as this, let me tell you. So I'm just gonna bring that all the way up. I'm not an expert on eyeshadow by any means, by the way, but I usually just wing it. So let's see. I mean, it's definitely nice. But I feel like you should be using a brush for this, not my finger. So I'm basically trying to blend that in. I don't know if you guys can see, but. I mean, I think that's as good as it's gonna get for now. But it just gives it like a, mm, like a tint, like orange color-y, light, I don't know, ball color. I don't know, I'm really not an expert on eyeshadow, so don't judge me. But anyway, so that's that. Um, and then I'm gonna do hair. Okay, so this is what we have working with. <laughs> This is what I'm working with. This is what I'm working with. Let me work it. Let me work it. Work, work, get, get, work it. Work, work, get, let me, let me work it. Work, get, work it. Let me, let me work, work it. Get, 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 get. This needs some desperate help. Um, I usually don't put too much products on my hair. The reason why is because I try to keep my hair like as healthy and natural as possible. Um, I feel like if I put too many products on my hair, they ju it just gets greasy and doesn't last as long. 
So um, the only thing I really use on my hair is dry shampoo. Uh, I'll usually put dry shampoo on the second or third day. Um, but I typically wash my hair every other day or every two days. Um, I usually like don't like to go a week without washing my hair because then it just goes way too greasy. I just washed it yesterday. So it's pretty good for, for now. And then as far as like hairspray or mousse, um, I usually don't use hairspray or mousse unless I'm going out and I want it to hold better and things like that. But I'm just gonna style it just like a simple style. I'm showing you guys what I do on a typical day-to-day -day basis. I work in construction. I don't usually need to impress anybody while I'm in the office. It's usually just me and my boss, so I don't usually do full glam looks for work. I usually just do this simple, uh, quick routine uh, for the day. And then especially, I just had a baby, so going through postpartum, my hair falls out a lot, I've noticed. and. I think it's just because I'm not keeping it combed uh, throughout the day. Usually I just stick it up in a bun or if I have it down, um, I don't really do much with, with it throughout the day. So um, my, I feel like my hair falls out all the time everywhere. And, and I have like these baby hairs that are, this all was gone after my pregnancy. And now you can see that they're starting to grow back and it's driving me nuts because they just stick out like this. They don't do anything and it's so annoying. So I'm just gonna straighten my hair. And this is just the Chi straightener. Um, I've had a lot of straighteners before this straightener that were all just like typical store brand, Walmart, Target, um, $20, $30 um, straighteners. But I noticed with the Chi, these were super popular back in the day. Well, they're still popular, but um, more popular before. And these ones um, work really well. I love these. I've had this for years. I can't even tell you how many years I've had this and it still works good. Still gets super hot and um, never have an issue with it. I'll probably get a new one someday, but until then, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with this one. So like I said, I don't prepare a lot of products in my hair, so I'll usually just go in and straighten it. I'm just gonna do a time lapse for you guys so you can see how I do it and what it looks like after I'm done. Okay guys, all right, I'm done straightening my hair. That is my typical get ready with me routine. Simple, easy, nothing fancy. Uh, just a simple five, 10 minute um, quick makeup and hair look. Um, my hair only took me not even 10 minutes to straighten. So I kind of just threw it up in this little kind of half up, half down bun. Um, just gonna be chilling around the house, nothing crazy and um, hope you guys are all being safe. I know um, this is a crazy time for everybody, so I just hope everyone's being safe and healthy and um, we're staying inside. Um, hope you guys are too, hope, we got, hope everyone is being safe. Uh, definitely prayers go out to every, everyone's families, um, everyone that's going through tough times right now, so um, if we could just all take a moment to uh, recognize that and um, this video is pretty much just, you know, something lighthearted um, that you guys can watch. I know I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos um, to kind of keep my mind kind of in and out of it um, because I feel like every single day it's like nonstop info 
all day every day about this and I just feel like sometimes I just need to kind of get away to get my mind off of it so I'm not stressing out or panicking so I just kind of made this video just for you guys and um, if you guys want to see any other content leave me a comment below let me know what you guys want to see um, I make videos on fashion lifestyle and family um, so if you guys uh, want to see anything specific let me know and I'll see you guys all in my next video Bye.